joining us this afternoon is Dr. M.C. Borbankar, former IG Prisons in Maharashtra, also Ritesh Bhatia, crime, cyber crime investigator, joining us. Uh, thank you uh, for uh, speaking to Mirror Now. Uh, Dr. Borbankar, for, to you first, how serious a concern these apps are, given that uh, th there are these complaints of blackmail. In an earlier case, a Malad resident died by suicide uh, because of this harassment from the recovery agents. Uh, so it's a grave issue, especially I feel if you take the age profile of uh, men and women using these uh, apps, it's the youth which is being targeted, so it becomes all the more serious. But I was also watching your interview uh, with the Home Minister. Yes. The government approaching Google, RBI, CERT uh, is absolutely um, correct way to go around. And also when the Home Minister said that they want to delegate these powers of investigation from inspectors to a lower level, I think that will also uh, lead to faster investigation of these cases which are leading to suicides um, and blackmailing, morphing. Uh, and that fact that 27 cases have been registered in Mumbai, it's indeed a grave threat, especially I would say to the youth uh, who is cyber friendly, but who is not cyber uh, protected or cautious. Uh, Ma'am, uh, but uh, you're saying that this is a welcome move that uh, the delegation of power of investigation to the lower uh, rung uh, uh, police officials. But, you know, this is still a new and a developing territory. Won't the cops need more training to go about handling such cases? Absolutely. They would need training, but please remember the youth which is in getting inducted into police, whether at the sub-inspector level, DYSP level, or IPS level, they are more cyber friendly. Yes. Their investigation skills with training would definitely improve. Um, so I think this is also a welcome move. Right. Uh, Mr. Bhatia, let me come to you. How do these loan, these fraud loan apps operate and how difficult is it to catch the people behind them? Because, you know, the police are say that uh, when you block these apps, there's always a chance of them re-emerging in a new avatar. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Bhatia, there's a slight audio issue, but uh, just go ahead, uh, complete your point. I, I, I hope you're able to hear me now yes. in that case. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Rohit, uh, you know, to answer your first question as to how do these apps uh, operate. So, the number one, you know what, um, they are targeting the gullible citizens, like, you know, whoever are looking for, like, those quick loans, the micro loans of 2000, 3000, 5000. And mind you, there are these kids also who are getting these loans because they want to buy some virtual currency from somewhere. Uh, so these guys will be there all over across several platforms, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, on Google, they will send you WhatsApp messages, they will send you SMSs also that, uh, you know, you're eligible for this much loan without KYC. Now that's the first red flag when you get something like that without the KYC. The moment you install that app, it takes all the permissions. Uh, you, have, you know what, many people get surprised when I tell them that even... Uh, the camera comes on and it is trying to like, you know, kind of get your live face, uh, facial recognition also. So just imagine when this is happening to millions of citizens, we are actually building a parallel Aadhaar system kind of things because they already have access to your images, uh, to your entire gallery, right. to your contacts, to your SMSs. And uh, so once that loan is there, that's it. They have all sorts of your data. You know, most of us keep our images, uh, like let's say Aadhaar, PAN, you know, in the gallery because yes. you often keep needing them. And so this is what the exactly the modus operandi is. Now the people behind this, your second question, like why aren't we able to get them? So I think, you know, when uh, your journalist was mentioning uh, that, you know, that we need to acquire tools. No, I don't think so. We need to acquire intention. We need to have that intention to do something about it. Right now, uh, whenever the complainants, like, you know, who come to me, I tell them, did you go to the police? They said, yeah, we went, but we were humiliated. Now he's already a victim. Why do you humiliate him further? So, do, and then second thing is they say, oh, it's 3,000. There are people who are like, you know, being defrauded of 10 lakhs. What about that? You know, so they don't take this thing seriously because here that humiliation leads to his suicide. 
So somewhere this sensitization in the police is also very important. Like let's say you go, you get a heart attack and you go to the hospital. The doctor is not going to shout at you that, look, are you mad? Why were you eating oily food and all? He's first going to treat you. So first help him out. If you don't have that intention, that tool is going to be of no use. Now, right. these, these apps are actually, if you see Rohit, these apps are 95% of them are from made in China. Like all those other rubbish things also, these are also made in China. Now, these are made in China. There are those investors who come over here. They, they throw some parties. There are these big guys who want to take it. They don't realize also, okay, yes. what they are doing. So there are there are several people involved. There are, right. there are businessmen involved. There are chartered accountants. There, right. are, there are so Mr. many Badia, people if I can, involved. If I can interrupt you and ask you, sure. what should users, people, consumers do to protect themselves from falling victim to such apps? No, why, why again the user needs to do something? Anything that happens in this country, we ask the user to be careful. What is the role of RBI in that case? Can't the RBI right now put a halt when since five years it is seeing something like this is happening? No, I'm asking Can't you it... that question. Sorry, I'm asking you that question merely because if people, you know, are looking to go for loans and all that from these online apps, so, what steps so, should, so should they follow to stay okay. safe? If, if that, that is the case, then I would want to tell the users 95% of the apps are like fake. They are going to take away all your data. So for this 3,000, 4,000, don't go to these lending apps because you are not going to go and do that exercise of finding out from RBI who are the registered people. Rather, you go to your local particular bank or wherever and get this app. 5,000, I think even a friend will give you, but don't risk your life by, by you know, going for these particular apps. Right. Uh, uh, Dr. Borwankar, one final question to you. Uh, first, uh, uh, answer that question about the sensitization of police uh, towards people who are coming with such complaints. Also, if I may add, if people have fallen victim to such fraudulent apps, what can they do? Uh, yes, uh, I don't agree that we humiliate citizens, but sometimes our officers um, are maybe curt. Uh, and unintentionally, they hurt citizens. We definitely uh, very regularly sensitize our officers towards the feelings of citizens. So I want to highlight that point. And as far as police is concerned, it has to be backed by very strong forensic units. Uh, people don't understand, and I want your audience to understand that behind registering, after you have registered a case with a police officer who I feel is sensitized and also a friendly cyber investigation friendly, there is a whole unit of forensics, prosecution, and courts, we have to even uh, educate, train. You talked of police officers, also we have to train the prosecutors and the courts so that these cases are trialed in a manner which would lead to conviction. And yes, these Chinese apps, when Telangana and Andhra also tried to uh, put curb on them, they again mushroom. So it's a constant uh, effort to fight against uh, these cyber criminals. But uh, Maharashtra police is very serious. The Home Minister has appointed the committee. So be with us. Uh, instead, of, uh, instead of criticizing us, collaborate with us. Wherever we have uh, experts like Mr. Bhatia, they should come forward and help our officers. We are there to help the citizens. And I do apologize if we sometimes hurt or are uh, being uh, curt to the citizens. All right, uh, Dr. Borwankar and Ritesh Bhatia, thanks very much for joining us on this very concerning issue of uh, fraud loan apps and how people are falling victim to them.